you that were waiting and watching and anticipating the uh, update to the live shotgun shell stuck underneath my receiver on this 1187. So I finally uh, have more than 10 seconds to myself in my shop. You know, cleared off enough space here to be able to do it. And uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and beat the shit out of this piece of shit gun and uh, see if I can get that unstuck. Let me see if I can show you for all the people that aren't aware, this is a live shell stuck underneath the carrier uh, on this 1187. So, buddy gave it to me. I'm gonna see if I can make it work going pheasant hunting in a few days here. So, it's about time I uh, give it a shot. So, for this task, I've got a set of punches. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to punch out the trigger mechanism and keep in mind guys I am not a gunsmith by any means so I am just going to be fucking around with uh, fucking around with this gun here and seeing how it goes and I've had way too many of these so uh, could get a little crazy up in here uh, here goes I'm going to just try to protect the gun a little bit I guess uh, you always need a big rubber hammer. Don't know what for, but you always need one. Let's see here. Well, let's just see if uh, I'm looking for something to rest, rest this on. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Here's a little scrap of plywood. So. I'm going to go after this big pin first. Like I said, I hope this works because I've got no idea what I'm doing. So, I've just got the smallest punch I have. Boom! Oh, look at that. Can you focus on that? No. First pin successfully came out really freaking easy. So, set that aside. Now we'll go after the smaller pin here and see what happens. So I know some of you guys probably won't like this, but you know, this has no protection or anything on it. Uh, actually, maybe I'll grab a shop rag here so I don't mar the finish of that. Yeah, that's not going to do shit. Fuck it. Free gun. Just line it up and whack away, right? Boom! Oh, look at that. Now let's see if this motherfucker comes out. <laughs> Son of a beeswax. Look at that. Winchester? Yeah. Maybe this gun needs high brass. Look at this cheap uh, low brass thing here, but uh, it's out. Uh, I probably shouldn't post this video because he's gonna want his gun back. We'll see if this trigger mechanism goes back in as easy as it came out. So, let's see here. How did it come out? somewhere not where we want to be but somewhere let's see no that doesn't do it that ain't gonna do it oh oh I see it bolts in the way. Right. 
Yeah, just needed a little hammering, I guess. Uh, we'll put the pins back in. I have no idea if this is going to work. And now i got got goobers all over it. One, two, no, fuck. Oh, great. <laughs> There's more fucking ammo in here. Yeah, that's not right. Alright, try number two. Still have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Who knows? Actually work after all. Where'd the blue come from? Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, there we go. So only uh, two tries to get that out, and uh, oh, maybe it doesn't work. Fuck. Nope. Boom. Alright guys, free gun, just a little work, you know, who knows if I did it right, I'm sure you'll leave comments below telling me what an idiot I am, but uh, I'm going to take this out to South Dakota and see if I can kill some birds with it, I'll let you know how that goes.